वेलकम बैक गाइस माय नेम इज विवेक और दिस इज अनदर सेशन रिलेटेड टू पोस्ट ग्रेस सम पीपल डोंट वांट टू रन द पोस्ट ग्रेस एंड इंस्टॉल इन योर सिस्टम जस्ट यूज द डॉकर एंड यूजिंग डॉकर यू कैन रन योर पोस्ट ग्रेस आल्सो सो इन दिस वीडियो पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल कवर दीस सेवन टॉपिक्स दिस topic I will teach you. Uh, in this first topic we will cover how to run Docker in BS Code. I will show you how to run the Docker in BS Code. And second thing, how to prepare a Docker file, Docker compose file, right? It's a not Docker, Docker compose file. So we will run a compose file. And second, the third point is how to run Docker compose file using CMD means command or using BS Code as well. and how to run postgres database in docker using cmd also or pz admin two services i will uh, run first is cmd you can access by using cmd also your database or otherwise you can access your pz admin in the browser and uh, fifth point is how to open pz admin in browser and how to create server in pz admin and how to create database in pz admin so now this six topic we will cover so now for the requirement for this docker should install in your system docker ki zarurat hai agar docker nahi hai to aap ye koi operation nahi kar sakte ho apne system mein to bane raho ye sath operation mein dikhata hu aapko don't skip this video this is the very very important suppose kisi ke system mein post uh, docker hai docker is the most popular tool nowadays you can run any software in your docker the last video i have also shown you i will show you the sonar ki baat ko using the docker and uh, one more thing i have told you i have told you like uh, which one is uh, repository nexus repository using docker these thing you can assume how much uh, important docker is okay so let's start so those people are first time in our channel please go through that itsp this is our channel okay so continuously i am uploading the video guys so please do support for that okay so now let's start okay first how to run a docker in bs code let's see so we need to open public in the online session we create one folder what is that uh, folder we should mm -hmm. post grace post grace with Docker. It open this. Now here, if you oh, just right click install uh, BS Code. If you don't know how to, just search BS Code download. This is the very very important. Uh, like ID is this is. You can download this Windows or if you are using Linux using dot bat dot rm. If you're using Mac, use this. Okay, to so download this, I have already downloaded and installed this. Just right click on. If you go and select this folder, right click, show more. Here you can see open with the open with the code like VS Code extension is this. So just right click on that. Now here, now trust this. Okay, now here you can see these are the. Now go inside this extension. Inside the extension, search Docker. I have already installed. Just I am showing that uh, Docker here. You can see first Microsoft install this Docker. After you installing, you will get uh, this icon here. You can see this icon. You will get. So now my Docker is right now is connected with that repository here. You can see Docker Hub. This is the Docker Hub repository. You can log in also. We I have a VK seven eight six repository. In this repository, two images I have uploaded. Test app, test app like the trip consumer app I have uploaded. Now let, this is the images which is available in my Docker Hub. Okay, Sonar Cube, Postgres, like this many uh, is available in my Docker Hub. So here also you can just remove this if you want to. Otherwise I will. Uh, I am going to open Docker here also. Same thing you can see in the Docker desktop also. But take a Docker desktop is required. If you not, okay. So now this is that images are there. Okay, just I need to remove Postgres, Postgres, uh, PG admin also. I will remove this, delete, 
delete forever close it somewhere it's using why because in this we are using so we need to remove first here also you can remove it remove it remove remove here okay postgres remove okay and here also you need to remove select this select remove latest remove this remove this one why because यहां से हम क्यों नहीं डिलीट कर पा रहे क्योंकि वी आर यूजिंग इन दिस दैट राइट सो रिमूव दिस कंटेनर रिमूव बाय यूजिंग कमांड आल्सो वी कैन डू लेकिन ये यहां देखो कितनी आसान है इफ यू डोंट नो द अबाउट द कमांड जस्ट यूजिंग रिमूव 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 दिस इज द कंटेनर दिस इज द इमेज दिस इज द रजिस्ट्री राइट सो दिस इज हाउ टू इंस्टॉल डॉकर जस्ट सर्च एंड लॉग इन दैट डॉकर फर्स्ट टाइम वी विल गेट लॉग इन हियर यू कैन See that connect the repository then here github azure generic put your record to connect you can connect it okay but so you have a good uh, docker registry you can just connect with the docker okay so this is element password of the okay? so now let's go with that another topic so this is completed how to run docker in vs code is complete how to prepare a docker file okay so now let's start the docker file preparing So now here, just click on file. We need to create a compose file. See what is the Postgres, Postgres hyphen compose, right? Dot YML, YML extension is required. When you hit enter, then you will get what is that? Just a simple. It is not a Docker file, right? So just a rename this. What is that? Rename this compose. Right now here you can get when you put a compose hyphen Postgres right underscore not using Docker compose okay Docker Docker compose for Postgres okay otherwise you can change the name like Postgres. Post Grace Compose Docker Compose, right? When you get the compose, it means it will automatically detect this is a Docker file. This is here you can upload this. This is that uh, Docker extension. Now just click on enter. Okay. So now uh, this is the create uh, uh, creating of compose file. Compose should be there in your file name. Otherwise, it will not detect uh, this is the Docker compose file. So now Second is completed. Okay. How to run Docker Compose file using CMD. Okay. So now this is our Docker Compose file. Okay. Just I'm explaining this what here we are doing. All right. We need one thing. First, we need uh, post PG admin, Postgres. Postgres database. Database. One client we need. What is that client? Client is PG admin. Okay. So we need two services. So here you can see this is the services. Inside the services, we have two services. First is Postgres, second is PG admin. So by using interacting with GUI, so need this. And by using a CMD interaction, we need this. So here we get a pool. From the Postgres latest image, which is available in that Docker Hub, and they start always. This is the restart always. We are trying when you uh, stop and run, it is always a restart. This is the uh, Postgres port exposing port is there, and here we set some environment Postgres DB, ITSP, Postgres user, Vivek, Postgres password is Vivek as well. And here you can uh, also volume volumes also required. You can just here inside the data folder all the data will store which you will which you will store it inside this. So here, if you want to PG admin as a GUI mode, so just uh, take an image from the Docker Hub. So take the image uh, name. What is the image name? Is Docker D page slash PG admin core. Okay restart always it's restart is required and environment you should set when you um, learn uh, when you uh, log in in that uh, pg admin first 
in the browse through the browser like local host local host like uh, some port here we divided uh, provided port 505 okay when you try to log in it will open one login page there we need put this gmail and admin admin as a password whatever gmail you need to put it gmail instead of a b c d whatever you want you can put it and admin and just depends on which this is depends on where what is the meaning of depends on this is depends on postgres service first it should run this then this okay if you without this you try to run this it will not run okay so let's start copy this mm -hmm. okay copy this so i think you i have explained clearly to you so just paste it here you can see now we paste it postgres postgres image latest always and port number and itf let's save it first i will show you how to run docker compose by using cmd okay now to this is clear here yeah, you can see up to this by using cmd also i will show you uh, just right click terminal here okay to run docker it will download here uh, you can observe i will show you don't worry here you can see any images are there any images are there or here also you can see any images related to postgres and pg admin is there not there okay and container any container are running not running let's see what happened okay so docker name of that your file postgres name of that file postgres postgres okay postgres okay docker compose file just hit enter postgres remove this postgres docker compose by ml not up just up and if you pass b then message is not showing to you just hit enter let's see postgres okay postgres docker compose is not a docker count why because its space is not getting that that's why okay so we need to do one thing uh, rename this file Okay, that's why space is not caught. Okay, now let's see. CLS clear Docker uh, Postgres just enter a tab. Okay, remove this, remove this one, and up. Up. Let's see. Okay. Postgres docker compose is not a docker command. Okay. Docker postgres compose dot by it should work like wait, wait. I will doing docker hyphen b in the my system. Okay. Docker is not available. Oh spelling is mistake. Oh, docker is available. Yeah. Docker is available. So docker. Docker, Docker, Docker. It should work like that. Why it's not working? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just put it extension file and let's see if it is previously it is working uh this is related to file name some happening because of file name just put it compose right hit enter let's see okay uh docker compose by ml is not required I want up. Let's see, it's pulling because of file name it's doing. Compose is reading. So it should first compose, then the other you can see. It will some take some time. It's downloading from that internet. 
now also you can see here if it's coming refresh this not coming is still no container is running nothing is happening here is also not let's see it is still downloading okay wait so let's next our is this is cmd we completed after that i will show you how to run this docker compose file by using bs code as well okay so okay. it's downloading 109 mb it's pulling the image from the internet and storing in our local what only this activity happen one time here you can observe this one we get a docker.io pz admin will get okay so now running container is any there not running container is not coming okay wait some time so it will only first time activities once uh, the image is downloaded from the internet after that you will run this not required to run any other time okay now here you can see this is the logs this is the logs we get it so now we our running container is this one okay in this running container is there post here is this on here you can see this this is zero zero means local host you will get it okay and initialize this and if you click on this 808 exposing the 505 ports right so somewhere else 505 is also there what's okay it's created and it's running now here you can see we get it one thing inside the container just open this and pg admin you want no? so pg admin just uh, will get this right inside this you will get it zero so now running here you can see 504 click on this link as well otherwise you can go here and open localhost 505 now you will get one thing now after this we completed and post case docker file and pg admin how to run i will show you i have shown you like how to run okay and uh, by using bs code as well i will show you after that completion this thing all the thing and now open this pg admin in browser by using localhost i have shown you and now how to create a server in pg admin let's see first we need to log in what is the password we should provide in that uh, file over in file we should pass password what is the gmail this is the pg admin login credential copy this and uh, come here paste this okay and our password is admin admin right login oh okay some password is putting wrong okay and a spelling mistake maybe this oh no this is not abcd at the rate gmail.com password is admin and type to login it's it's login it will last now here this is the main thing is now it's everything is empty database is not there you should create your database okay so now just right click register register server and here you should pass your database name my db docker db docker db okay in the connection you should pass that uh, username and password as well so go inside that file and uh, username is vivek pass that vivek okay and uh, username is Vivek. password is also you need to pass Vivek. Okay, and Vivek, right? Let's see what happened. It is trying to connect with that, but it's not why because unable to connect server by try again. Okay, uh, username is also you need to pass Vivek, save it. Okay, one thing is remaining, it's not connected. Why? Because we pass post grace db itsp here. Now let's see, let's see it will connect it. Why it's not connecting? Uh everything is perfect. Password is also big past and port number is correct, right? 
थ्री आई टी एस पी विवेक विवेक यूजर मेंटेनेंस डेटाबेस पोस्ट ग्रेस राइट जनरल माई डी वी कनेक्शन दिस should connect maybe unable to connect the server couldn't but try again okay some issue maybe we need was address host name this is that host name guys Wait, wait. I have done this kind of thing also. Change here, we wait. Let's see what happens. Maintenance. Mm -hmm. This is the post page. ITSP is required. Server something like. Okay, take up here. Hmm 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 hmm. Uh, let's check that uh, server URL. What is trying to say? Starting with this, what does mean? Get get get. Okay. In fact, also you can go and check file status. Everything is perfect. It's running fine. Let me try one more time. Right click, get register server. And this server's name cannot be empty. Any name, my DB server. Put it. And here you can see connection. Pause that connection. PD. TSP TSP for the same username as ITSP password is Vivek username is also Vivek right I think. let's try with this is not connected Vivek is there Save it. Okay, why it's not going? This is the only difficult part in this. Okay, so wait, wait. I will try to get test. <laughs> then errors error message should be changed like. No, unable to connect server is bad. Why is bad? Just maybe issue is there. Wait, I will stop the recording. Then I will check. Okay, okay. Here. Okay. Okay, so now, 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 just right click on this server. We need pass your uh, DB, my DB Docker, right? Connection. In this connection, we need to the pass the Postgres. Postgres, not other name. Okay, not Vivek, not other thing. Postgres, right? In that username, username should be Vivek and password should to pass that password which you provide in this file. Vivek and Vivek, okay? So now, <laughs> weird. okay, now save it. Now here, you can connect with this server. Not required. Just here, you can see any database is there. No database. One ITSP is there. Here, you can see which database we have provided. Uh -huh. In the ITSP, we provided the database is created. Now, this is here, you can create inside the schema table. Now here you just right click and that query tool inside the query tool create a table like create table we right 
with that um, name where correct type where 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 cut ten okay and uh, that's it only we need to pause it now let's see create table we wait now table is created let's see uh, refresh this we table is there inside the table you can see is anything is there nothing just i want to insert some name insert table insert table name vivek okay and uh, values like passing vivek where does it if your query is correct, then it will work. Table is not there. Okay. Just insert. Okay. Table name. Na? So we need to pass the table name. We wait values like that. If you go and search here, insert record, insert query, insert query or post queries. Like that, you can do that here. Here you can see open any link here insert into table name right insert into table name table name is vivek and values pass that in vivek itsp you can pass it Let's select this and run now one record is inserted if you want to see and select star from vivek Perfectly on the report, which are available inside the viewer table, it will show. Now, like that, you can do the practical by using this or not. If you want to see, okay, so also you can connect with the CMD like that only passing that port on all the things. But my intention is better to use, uh, it's a recommended way to use you know, GUI based because everything is joy so that's all guys so we completed these seven tasks in this particular small videos this is the important share with your friends as well so now first we complete how to run okay docker in the bs code oh one thing is remaining okay, i recall this so right now is if you stop this image Mm -hmm. go here if you try to open the terminal is running control c here you can just press control c now what happened here is stopping that image it is stopping here it, this will happen now red will come now so it means it is stopped and after that you are trying to run and this refresh this then data is reload try to reload and it will not accessible right so now second point i will show you how to run right click on this file Okay, right click on this file. Here you can see compose down, compose, restart, compose up, compose up. Just click on compose up. Now start it. Now this here you can see the started is there. So now here you can see compose hyphen f compose file. It's internally build it. So now just raise this browser, run it, run this login and admin every time it will ask let's see our data is there or not server inside the server my tv my dio table is the refresh then all data is there now here you can see data is there so now this is the way to run you can start data will not go until the docker compose uh, docker image is a store in the, your system data will not lost right so we will meet some another beautiful video so, tab tak ke liye bye. Take care. Happy learning.